What's up, San Diego? It's uh, Ian, your local realtor. Um, so I'm coming out to do this video. You know, I'm not big on videos, but here I am. Uh, I keep getting asked the same questions over and over and over. The market's gonna crash. It's a good time to buy. It's a good time to sell. You know, oh, I think it's gonna be another market crash like it was in 2007. I know it, I know it, I know it. Right, and there's all these internet personalities and people that don't even know what they're talking about, you know, guessing one way or the other, flipping the coin, right? All right, so I'm gonna do a three-part series. Uh, this one's gonna be uh, days on market, right? It's a good indicator to kind of see when it's a good time to buy, when it's a good time to sell, uh, time of year. Uh, next, I'm gonna cover inventory and how that affects the market. I honestly think it's one of the most important indicators when judging a market. Um, and then I'm gonna go to percentage of li uh, original list price received. So you put a house on the market for a million dollars, what percentage that you get, over or under, right? And we have a percentage of it. All these numbers aren't made up. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, subscribe, comment, you know, tell me and shoot me your email and I'll shoot it all over to you so you can see what these numbers are coming from, not just pulling them out. It's informational in, in nature, so any questions, you have specific areas I can go down, you know, if you're in Chula Vista and, you know, Otai or East Lake or you're in Del Mar, either way, I can do it by your actual location too, which is even more informative. All right, so here we go. Days on market until sale. Days on market, DOM, you see it on Zillow and stuff like that. Um, it increased, right? First, this all, all this really increased because I posted this uh, market update about how the pricing in San Diego went from average median price or median price was 780 and it, this last week uh, from November 11th to 18th, it dropped to 750, so 30,000 reduction. People are like, oh, told you, you know. Going to recession. All right, so days on market uh, until sale, how that affects it, right? So if you list your house on whatever, January 1st, and it takes 30 days to sell, cool, right? That's every week. If every house is taking 30 days, it's pretty consistent. Um, unfortunately, it's not, this, it's not what happens at the end of the year, right? Um, every year, since I've ever been in real estate, it's always slowed down. Because think about it, it's common sense, right? People are going to do family stuff they're going thanksgiving and holiday you know traveling around the world doing all that kind of stuff they're not thinking about most people aren't which is actually a good time if you're a buyer think about that but i digress um so for this last week from november 11th 18th the average days on market um went up to i think 34 right people are like oh, you know price went down days on market went up recession no i even broke it down by or i didn't break it down but our uh, realtor, uh, SDAR does it for us, but easy day. So every price range has average days on market. We calculate all this stuff, right? So if you go and you look from 500,000 to 1.25 million, average days on market are 21 from October, right? Um, November's not out yet because November's not done. So if you look at the, how the numbers get skewed, once you get up to the 2 million to 5 million range and the 5 million above range, sorry, I keep looking away. I'm actually looking at the numbers. 2 million to 5 million average days on market in October were 29 days. Average days on market for $5 million and above, 62 days. So what they do when they compress those stats for the county is they take all of them and they put them all together and average it through all the houses that were sold. So you can see how it skews the numbers. If something's taking 62 days to sell, it's gonna obviously skew the numbers for everything else. Next, it even breaks it down by square footage. Um, 6,000 square foot and above house, if you live in a huge estate, uh, the average days on market is 68. Uh, if you get down to the 2,000, 3,000 square foot, 25. 1,500 to 2,000 square feet, 21. 1,000 square feet, 1,500 square feet and below, it's actually 20 days. So everybody's moving in condos, townhouses, small houses, it's still a fast uh, turnaround. So we can go in depth into, uh, Condos and townhouses, actually the average for all price ranges for condos um, was actually, and townhomes was uh, 20 days. So much, much, much faster than input out. So how does that indicate with the price? How does that, you know, how's that relevant to the price, right? So if we have all these multi-million, if everything's starting to take longer to sell slowly, right? Like the bigger, more expensive homes, it's gonna skew the numbers a little bit week by week. So I, I post the weekly numbers just cause people wanna see it. But at the end of the day, if you're trying to gauge a trend, you don't want to do it week by week. You don't want to step on the scale to weigh yourself every day because your weight fluctuates, right? Same thing with the market. There's fluctuations and it's natural. I think uh, doing monthly uh, check-ins and comparing to last year is much more indicative of it, of 
where the market's going and you know comparing it to the last couple of years. Don't just do it day by day. Um, so bottom line is, yeah, this last week it's slowing down. So you're gonna see more days on market are gonna go up and av median average price of homes sold in San Diego is gonna go down. Tune in for, I'm gonna go over uh, housing inventory and how that affects you and how you can use that to gauge the market. Um, so stay tuned, subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to hit me up. I'm a real person, I'll hit you back. Don't say some crazy stuff because I'll see that too. Um, but yeah, any questions, let me know.